Here are 37 of the scariest TikToks on the internet. Look what happened with the Hoover. Okay, how you doing? Oh, what? Ghost got your vacuum. What does the ghost want with the Hoover? Look at that, it just starts floating. Someone turned on the no gravity mod. Why I hate hospitals. I don't think you're alone, Jessica. Okay, I really thought there'd be like a face that popped up or something. Oh, I hate this. This is so creepy. Why did this sink turn on? Oh, oh, there's really no one. Oh, heck no. Bro, working alone at a hospital. People have died there. There's definitely ghosts just vibing. That is so freaking creepy. Nope. Okay. So these two guys are just chilling, walking under a bridge. I think some sort of prank is going down. Okay, there's creepy ball pit balls everywhere. They're just playing with the balls. Pretty scary. Oh, door closes. Now they're scared. Who closed that door? I'd probably just jump up this wall if I can. I don't know how high that is, but that's probably what I would try to do. Oh god, it's gonna be like a clown, dude. Dude, I would be trip. I would run, I would run. I mean, you might slip on a ball, but... Oh, there's, there's a guy down there. Okay, you can't run, you're dead. Oh my... Yeah, climb, climb. Oh, that guy can't climb. Oh, yes, he can. Okay, they're good, they're good. They climbed it. Oh! <laughs> oh! Dude. I kind of want to be put in one of these scenarios just to see if I can make it out alive, you know? I probably would have tried to run past the balls and then be faced with the chainsaw guy and probably get cut in half, but... But that's just me. They did it pretty smart. What would you guys do in that situation? I was on my my way soul to the would leave my body. And I felt something on my what is that? Oh, it's a spider. You're just gonna let it just crawl on you? Yeah, let it crawl on me. Get out my phone. Record a TikTok. No, I'm getting a flamethrower. <laughs> Make your dreams come true. Don't look through it. Don't look through- Oh! Get out of there, get out of there. Holy f Don't put anything through that hole. Oh my god, okay, that actually freaked me out. Holy. This is what they don't want you to see. This was our mistake? What is this? What is that? We had an accident at the containment lab today. What is this? Is this real? People in the comments saying, is this Hawkins? Yeah, literally, this is Stranger Things. You're in the upside down, buddy. Well, that's terrifying. October 8th, 2022. They're still trying to stop the spread. They're still trying to stop the spread. What is that? Pandemic. The real pandemic? Get a flamethrower, get a flamethrower. Easy. Like, what even is this? Contamination caused by D02, hella cellular. Self-replicating organism. After infecting multiple people within our lab, the organism uses their bodies to spread itself faster. Okay. Lovely. I hope this is not real. Okay, this next one is from the same TikTok account. We found Darren. What does that mean? Who's Darren? Is that a freaking zombie? Bro, I hate this. I hate this TikTok account. What is this? People in the comments, hi, Darren. Okay, cool. Can you ask him what he wants from McDonald's? Darren seems like a nice guy. Is anyone freaking out over this? This can't be real, correct? Darren, you good, buddy? You good? I mean, he's clearly slow. You can just bop him in the head easy. I guess it's not too scary. Anyways, well, that's creepy. Let's move on. Okay, here's a creepy video, apparently. 
This guy's just looking up into his attic because he heard a noise, right? I don't know why it's blurred, but sure. He put a camera up there just to like see if there's any sussy things going on. Okay, he puts the lid back on. Okay, so far nothing's happening at all. I'm scared there's gonna be a jump scare. That's all I'm worried about. <gasps> oh, what was that? That's a face. That's a freaking face. Bro, someone is living in your attic. <laughs> Things that used to look creepy. Part one, okay. Firefighters, really? What? Is that real? Ronald McDonald? Oh, yep, that's not okay. <laughs> Firefighter thing is so interesting, actually. So they just walk into the building and they're just like water spraying everywhere. Is that real? There's no freaking way. So if Sean and Michael McQuilkin was taken at Sequoia National Park what just the seconds heck? before they were struck by lightning in 1975. All three, including oh. their photographer's sister, survived the strike. Oh, that's younger good. younger brother, Sean, suffered third-degree burns and spent nearly six months in a coma. After being unable to overcome the physical and mental toll of the incident, Sean sadly ended up taking his own life in 1989. What? After having an allergic reaction to asthma medicine in 2009. Tennessee woman Shanina Ison. Oh, has been okay. Suffered this is a different story. I thought this. I thought he also had an allergic to reaction. I was like, this boy's unlucky. Having an allergic reaction to asthma medicine in 2009. Tennessee woman Shanina Isom has been suffering from a mysterious skin condition that causes her to grow fingernails in place of her hair. No, 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 no. Oh, that's awful. That's really, really, really bad. Okay. I'm scared. What? That is terrifying. Keep watching. I don't want to. Okay, fine. Wait, this is really creepy. They're literally playing with a the ghost. They're just vibing. You can hear the foot. Oh! Bro, what? This can't be real. This cannot be real. It's a green screen suit. It's a green gr green screen suit, man. That is crazy, bro. The guy literally slapped the ghost, and the ghost ran away. Um, no, I'm good. I think, I think maybe not. Yeah, hate this. Hate this so much. Hi. Nice smile, at least. What's happening? Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Was that a spider? Oh, it is. It is. Okay. You're done for. What are you trying to do? Give it some freaking ketchup? Oh. What even is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you're dead. You're done. Spider's mad. <laughs> really want to talk about this photo. A security guard at the Bryson Avenue Mall located in Virginia took this photo in 2011. <gasps> would later I see a face. Police, but the woman seen here was There's a never face. found. For context, the security guard's name was Sean Mercado, and he worked the night shift at this mall. But the mall had been having strange things happening for like weeks. Like on after hours, there are store alarms going off, but nobody's ever found. They're hearing people run through the mall, but again, they never see anybody. Until one night when Sean Mercado goes out to have a cigarette, he's just oh, kind of God. patrolling the parking lot, and he goes back to enter through the employee entrance when he saw this woman staring back at him from inside. Bro, that's actually terrifying. He takes terrifying. a photo for proof, and then he radios for backup, and he goes in after her. He claimed to chase her as fast as he could, but he eventually lost her inside that mall, and despite a police investigation, oh. she would never be found. Oh, the drawing of her is so scary. Just a mysterious mall. All woman. So weird. By the way, subscribe. We're almost at 20 mil. What is that? Oh, is that a... It's a freaking lobster! 
bro, it's massive. What? Oh, no, it's a crab. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Someone said it's a coconut crab. Those things are freaking big. Okay, this guy's looking through an abandoned building. There's always something creepy in abandoned bi- Oh, what is that? Is that two people? It is! It's moving! They're, they're like whispering. Oh, heck no. There's two people right there. This is so cursed. Mm-mm. 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 Run. You can't run. You're, you're stuck. Well, you might, you might be able to go through that doorway. Why would you turn around? Now they're gone. Okay. They're not gone. They're just looking at you more intensely. Amen. Hello. Guys want to play some Fortnite? Okay, he's going towards them. Okay, they left. Oh, don't go over there. Don't. You're just going to be like every freaking horror movie main character. What? Ghosts? Ghosts? They're gone. They're literally gone. <gasps> oh, I thought they were up top. Okay. Hated that one. <laughs> Asking AI to show us the deadliest demons. That one's pretty deadly looking. Belial. Behemoth. Oh. Okay. I don't like this. Oh, creepy, bro. Why are they kind of bad, though? <laughs> if you live in Stockton, California, or Central California, or quite frankly, anywhere in California, your life may be in danger. I live in California. Recently issued a warning to the people of Stockton, California, that there is a serial killer who is on the loose that has already racked up five victims oh of this recording all the killings have taken place from july 8th to september 27th and the man is still on the loose september 27th oh frick okay well i better move seems then that he is targeting hispanic males as four of his victims have been hispanic males but all of his victims so far have been males police have actually ruled out a possible hate crime and i'd be okay. very interested to see how they came to that conclusion not hispanic an undeniable link between all of his victims whether it's the fact that they're all male or whether it's the fact that four out of five of them are Hispanic. So if you are in Stockton, California, or Central California, or quite frankly anywhere within California, because we have seen before how serial killers will travel to different parts of a state or even out of... So I should probably move. I mean, I'm not Hispanic if that's what he's going for, but frick. California is pretty sussy. I should get out of here. Appears I had a visitor while working alone in a large abandoned basement. Yeah, it looks like you did. There's foot... Oh, there's footprints. Like, literal foot. Not, not shoe prints. Yeah. It's definitely probably just a homeless person, maybe, I'm guessing. How long can you watch? Staring contest? Is it changing? It is changing. Oh, she's getting... Oh, I don't like this. She's smiling. Oh, I just watched the new horror movie Smile, too, so this is kind of creeping me out. He did that, bro. Did you guys see Smile? It's pretty freaking terrifying. That was a, yeah, that was a good horror movie. If you survive this haunted house, you get twenty thousand dollars, but no one. What do you mean survive? So they kill you? If like what? Has ever made it to the end. No the Cayman Manor is not a quick buck. This is actually the most extreme, scariest haunted house in the world. You have to sign a forty-page waiver. Okay. No, nope. I'm already not doing it after seeing this photo. You have to literally crawl through mud blindfolded. <laughs> no. You can literally do anything to you except intentionally kill you. But they will torture you to the brink of death, and you are consenting. And this place what? is technically a charity, and that's what makes it all legal. They'll pull your teeth out, pull your fingernails out, bury you alive, shave your head, and force you to eat your own hair. Use CIA-level torture methods on you. This is a series. I'll give you all those details in the playlist below. Don't worry. <coughs> this is Russ McCamey, the fine Christian man that runs this show. He was originally doing it in California, but then they kind of kicked him out. and so Who's going? Crazy. Who's doing it? pictures of the bad stuff but just google mckamey manor some literally crazy 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 i mean i can still see it 
pop up. There's also a YouTube channel. Petitions were made to shut the manor down, but as of right now, it is still a thing. Who's going? Come on. 20K? 20K is worth it. No, that's insane. That is crazy. Please don't do that ever. Someone in the comments said a man in the Navy actually won it, but didn't get any money and just got kicked out. Nice, nice, there you go. <laughs> so there's scammers. They just torture you and just kick you out. <laughs> All right, this next video is a horror game that's coming out soon. And I wanna play it. Oh my God, this looks sick. Oh, frick. Okay. Oh my god, okay, I really want to play it now. This is really cool. That is definitely a horror game I will be playing on my gaming channel. Go subscribe. I think this is a part of the same game, this video. Um... I don't... Okay, what is... Oh! You would definitely see that in your peripherals. Come on. Come on. Spooky time in the Appalachian Mountains isn't limited to October. <laughs> oh! There's someone at your window. You should, probably, you should probably check. Photos taken before disaster. Okay, sweet. This is the shocking moment a man dangles from a theme park ride moments before falling... Is that a ferris wheel? Okay. The 30-year-old man was riding alone on the Skyride Share lift at the Lagoon Amusement Park in Utah. That's when visitors spotted him clinging to the chair lift. Initially, some of them thought it was a stunt until the man lost his grip and fell. An investigation is still ongoing. Strangely, though, it's not the... the it's not thought that the man intentionally fell, but the malfunction of the ride was also ruled out. So what happened? Someone said, he, I'm pretty sure he was drunk. That is terrifying and very freaking sad. Oh my God. Creepiest found footage. What do we got? These are the home videos of two of the most evil Canadians ever. Paul Bernardo and Carla. The pair are a husband and wife team who took at least three lives in the early 90s. Although these home videos show the couple's normal everyday life, wedding, etc. Investigators were haunted by the secret home videos of their of the pair committing horrifying acts. After a plea bargain in which Carla claimed to have been an unwilling accomplice, she was sentenced to only 12 years while Paul received a life sentence. However, the videotapes that came out after the plea agreement showed that Carla had m much more active in the events that she had claimed. Freck, I'm trying to read fast. The Canadian press called her deal with pr pr prosecutors. I can't read! <laughs> Carla was released from prison in 2005. She now is remarried and lives in Quebec. Oh, great. She's, she's, she's living. Okay, okay, sweet. I hate that she's murderers out there. <laughs> Glitch in the Matrix. Oh, what is happening? It's just wind, right? Like, is it like a strong breeze? But how is the freaking... How is that, the... The other bird is just hanging. What? They're, he's hitching a ride. That's sick. He is not a child. What? Oh. What? Okay, that was weird. I can't look away. Wait a sec, what am I looking at? It's a freaking... Is that a blowfish? Why does it have a face? Look, eye, eye, nose, mouth. What the heck is that? Yeah, people are saying it's a puffer fish, but I don't freaking know. Termy. Termite's scared as well. I have no words to what just happened. Okay, paranormal. Time to go, time to leave. Hey, it's okay. It's just paranormal activity. It's okay. Okay. What is this? We're underwater. How you do? <laughs> wow. A lot of things just went on. That was insane. I was not expecting it. just a man. Okay, so this caption says POV you're hiding on a ceiling fan. Don't look up. Oh, 
that was good. Don't hide on ceiling fans. Nope. <laughs> okay, that was fun. I'm scared. Time to cry.